Why are we here tonight? We're here tonight for a couple of reasons. One, we know what Iran is. We know that Iran is the biggest exporter of terror in the known world today. We know that they have repeatedly threatened the United States of America and Israel, our closest and most important ally in the world. We know that we know that Iran has been the driving force of most of the current violence against Israel through their surrogates in Hamas, through the border war in Gaza, through the activities in Syria. We know that Iran is bad, bad news. We also know they're willing to work with the worst creatures on earth, North Korea, Russia, China, and Syria. We also know that Iran has never kept their word in the modern era on any given agreement. We know that they've never stopped working on their nuclear goals, even while we negotiated this phony, terrible, horrible, no good deal. Now what about the U.S.? We know a couple of things about ourselves. Friends, we know that the United States of America is at a crossroads of history. We know that we're about to secure our children's future. But here's the question. Here's the question, Times Square. What kind of future will that be? We have the technology and the means to say to the rest of the world, we will or will not work with you. We have the ability to guarantee greater peace and safety and security. But have we lost our will to do that? Or at least our leaders in Washington, have they lost their will? It appears we may have. Our leaders have been feckless when the world looked to them for abject strength. So tonight, my friends, I want to ask you to do something tonight. I came to Times Square with this really odd-looking baseball cap. It's not very fancy. It stands for my five-year-old's kickball team. My five-year-old who plays on a kickball team with other children who are Jewish and Asian and Hindu and Latino and black. And yes, there's a couple of white kids on the team as well. These kids play on Sunday afternoons innocently, not aware of the dangers of the world around them. But this cap, as awkward and geeky as it looks, is my reminder when I ride the subway every day, when I ride the train to and from Lower Manhattan to do my broadcast at the radio station. It's my reminder when I look in a mirror or see my reflection in a window that I do not live my life for only my goals and my peace and my security in the future. My five-year-old son deserves to grow up in a world free of a nuclear Iran. I have a simple question. Does, do President Obama's children bleed or die any differently than Israeli kids? Do my children die any differently than the worst liberal in Congress that I've ever disagreed with? Can we not at least say that there are times when partisanship should be put to the side, that the decision to do what is right is done because it is what is right? And what is right is to kill this deal! Kill this deal! Kill this deal! God bless you. God bless Israel. God bless the United States of America.